Transformers fans, welcome back to another cool toy review. And today we are finally nearing the end with the second to last Toxatron figure of the year. This is the Transformers Legacy Evolution G2 Universe Mirage from the Walmart exclusive Toxatron Wave of Figures. And here he is in the packaging, and just like the others, he looks really awesome. I love that he's got the same color scheme as Skull Cruncher, and of course, he's got some Gator Deco on his alt mode. And, I mean, you, you get to see it on his robot mode, but it really shows through in his alt mode especially. You've got some awesome artwork right here of his Formula One race car mode there in the Gator color scheme. On the side, you've got a close-up and out shot of his robot mode. On this side, you've got the Toxitron Eyes Legacy Evolution art. And on the back, you've got images of both him in his robot and alt mode. And that's pretty much it for the packaging. And here is the new Mirage out of the packaging. And not to sound like a broken record, but much like a lot of the other figures in this set, it wasn't until I saw it in person that I really, truly liked this figure. There's just something about this set where the color schemes are actually pretty great once you see them in person. It's just photos and videos of these figures, and yes, the irony of this video review is not lost on me, does not do the look of these figures justice. They look so good. The color schemes were so vibrant in this set, and... I like the little gator details. You've got a little gator head on his spoiler, and it's on both sides. You've got some gator scale artwork printed on his legs right here, which will be on the sides towards the front of the alt mode. You'll notice his rocket launcher fell off his shoulder because this is a repaint of the Earth mode version from the Kingdom release of Mirage, and... Yeah, for some reason, when, when they made the Earth mode, they, they screwed up the shoulder mechanic for his rocket because we all know Mirage's rocket launcher, like a lot of the original Autobots from Generation 1, is supposed to sit over his shoulder. And on the original Siege mold, it does. But when they updated it for his Earth mode, for some reason, they removed the proper pegging area for the rocket. And yeah, you get this little peg hole right here on the back of his shoulder where you can kind of make it almost look where it's supposed to sit in robot mode but it's a very thin it's a very shallow peg hole and it just doesn't stay on very securely that's my biggest complaint about this figure that's been my biggest complaint about this figure mold overall and other than that it's a pretty awesome figure Real quick for comparison, here is G2 Universe Mirage next to G1 Universe Mirage. And this is that mold I was just talking about. This is the same mold right here. You'll notice he doesn't have his rocket on his shoulder just because it kept falling off. And so I left it at home. But here they are side by side so you can see the two different color schemes and how drastically different they really are. This version of Mirage, once again, is fully articulated. Head is on a ball joint. Fully articulated shoulders, in and out. Upper bicep, single jointed elbows. Wrists can go in and out of the forearm due to transformation, but there is no swivel articulation or anything like that. The spoilers can rotate also due to transformation, but you kind of want to keep them in this fixed position. There goes that shoulder cannon again. Other accessories include, real quick, his blaster rifle, same blaster rifle mold he's came with since, I want to say Siege, but definitely since the Earth mode mold of this guy. Waist articulation, hips, upper thigh, single jointed knees, side ankles, forward and back on the ankles, also due to transformation, and, and you can wiggle this from side to side as well, but that's also due to transformation and doesn't really have any effect on the robot mode articulation at all. Transformation. Transformation is very simple, just like the Earth mode Mirage. We're going to start by taking that blaster out of his hand. We'll go ahead over here. We're going to fold those fists in, and then we're going to untab these arms from these shoulder sections here. 
and then we're going to grab the waist we're going to untab that and on that double hinge joint we're going to pull that down like so come around over here to the back and we're going to untab this section we're going to rotate these wheels forward like so and then we're going to rotate the head all the way in and that's going to make the back of this like engine block looking section and then we're going to tab in that one back piece back into place we're going to rotate these arms in like so go ahead and flip those spoilers so we can tab the spoiler together and then we're going to fold down those shoulder sections like so and we're going to bring these four arms together in the middle and what that's going to do is that's going to give us this little rectangular peg right here and that's going to peg in right into this midsection down here all together securing that all into one place and then just kind of readjust and retab some of those things that came undone on us as we were doing that next we're going to rotate this waist around and we're going to rotate these legs like so on this double hinge we're going to raise this section fold that foot like so and then rotate this wheel section all the way to the other side and now you're starting to see we're going to bring that up and that's going to fit in right under here kind of line that up straighten that up and do the same thing over here so bring up that double hinge joint fold that foot in rotate this out to the side then we can bring this section down as we rotate that section up tab these sections together in the middle bring that up the rest of the way and then tab those arms down into place over that section and that's it there is mirage in his formula one gator race car mode and i really like the detail of the scales on the side i wish there was a little bit more of that printed especially right here on this middle pink section or maybe another gator face that came together right here on this midsection i still really like the gators on the spoiler but it would just be nice to have a little bit more detail there and i have a feeling toy hacks is probably going to come in there and maybe add a little bit more gator detail to this because they've already done some upgrade sticker sheets to some of the toxitron figures and the sideswipe in particular looks so amazing i mean i already really liked the sideswipe figure in this set a lot but toy hacks works some dark magic with that and it looks even better and i kind of hope they give this guy the same treatment because there's there's definitely more detail that could be added here paint job wise that said i think they did a pretty cool job with it because i really do like these little paint apps and details and a mirage in the skull cruncher color scheme with gator details i don't know where that idea came from i don't know how that came to be i don't know if there's a gator formula one racing car that was out there in the 90s when they first proposed this paint job as a g2 mirage figure and you know of course ultimately didn't release it along with the other figures that came in this assortment but i do really like it and of course real quick for comparison here is the new g2 universe mirage next to the g1 universe mirage so you can see the two of them side by side and i think they compare really well and i love how the color schemes are so drastically different i think that is another really neat thing about this set overall is there are practically zero similarities between the color scheme and even not just that the patterns in which these figures are painted compared to the predecessor i think that's something really cool to note guys thank you so much for tuning into today's review featuring the new transformers legacy evolution g2 universe mirage from the walmart toxitron set and another really cool and at first glance underrated paint job i really like all of the paint jobs honestly that came from this set call me a sucker if you must but they actually are pretty cool and 
seeing the photos and the videos really do not do them justice. There's just something alluring to them about these bright and vibrant colors. And I can't quite explain why I'm drawn to them, but I am. I really am, and I really like them a lot. So overall, in my opinion, I think this has been a pretty good set so far. And make sure, guys, that you like and subscribe and follow us on social media. Check Cool Toy Review daily for all kinds of daily toy-related news and content. Check out Bay 12, our sister channel, for all kinds of awesome other Transformer reviews. I do the bulk of my Transformer reviews over on Bay 12 here on YouTube. And... Stay tuned because the next and final review of the Toxitron set is coming and we saved Toxitron for last. And I'm so excited to finally get to Toxitron. Ever since they announced the Laser Prime mold for the first time, I was hoping for two things. That we got a Scourge figure out of it, which we did, and that we would get a Toxitron figure out of it, which we also did. So as far as the Laser Optimus Prime mold goes, I'm pretty well satisfied. If you like all Star Wars content, check me and Nick out on rebelscum.com, our other sister website, which is the world's oldest and largest Star Wars fan website, not owned by Disney, and there's daily content on rebelscum.com, so make sure you check that website, like I said, but also like and subscribe to the rebelscum.com YouTube channel and social media for more. If you like to keep track of your collection and manage your collection, check out our free archival website, collectorsoracle.com, where you can sign up today for a free account and mark and track items that you either have in your collection or want to have in your collection. Right now, it's primarily Star Wars, but other brands and toy lines are being added in the future very, very soon. And like I said, it's absolutely free. We'll see you guys later. We'll see you another time. Transform and roll out.